Hi here, field there. And there is a pen done entirely in CSS and one div. A planet done entirely in CSS and one div. A sloth on a skateboard done entirely in CSS and one div. A working X-ray machine done entirely in CSS and one div. A whole cabinet of things done entirely in CSS and one div. And a weaponized potato. <coughs> no, that. But also, this portfolio has fake Netflix and the shit's creek. This is the personal portfolio by Lin, a designer, CSS developer, and illustrator. And I think it's the one with the most important personal portfolios in the world. One of Lin's projects is called A Single Div, and it's a collection of drawings made with just CSS and one div, the pen. Let's call it Sean, uh, Sean the, the pen. <coughs> Let's see what you're made of, uh, Sean. Oh, just very quickly, uh, apart from Sean, Apart from Sean, there is just another important person that I need to mention. Justin. Just in case. CSS is a language that is used to style HTML pages. HTML tells the browser what's on the page, and CSS tells the browser what it looks like. Drawing complex illustrations like these in CSS is like using Calamari as a construction tool. It's not built for it, it's absolutely unnecessary, and it's extremely difficult to do it, which you would see why in a second. Let's look at Sean now. One HTML element. A div, basically a box, with a shadow. Inside of it, two fake CSS elements, also boxes, sort of. The bottom one is just another shadow, and the top one is the rest of the pen. It's basically just multiple CSS gradients laid on top of each other. I've written a small script to show you how these gradients come together. I was a little drunk in the process, and a raccoon was biting on my leg, so it didn't quite align. <coughs> and on this beautiful saw, if you recolor the gradients in the console, you can see how these gradients were painstakingly. It's very early in the morning. Were painstakingly pain, pan, pancakes. You can see how these gradients were painstakingly applied to create a pattern of wood. My grandfather used a saw just like this one to skillfully cut off three of his fingers. <clears throat> a plant. Let's call it Earth. Let's fuck it up. It's our purpose here. This planet is just a collection of radial gradients in various locations and with various degrees of blurriness that Earthers got it all wrong. And the way the sharp edges are created is like throwing a child into a mountain river. Michael Douglas asks you to subscribe for this channel. He is a bit drunk. Instead of slowly dipping the child into the mountain river, you can drop it there abruptly. A gradient is basically a smooth transition between two colors, located on each end of it. And if you put these colors exactly in the same point, the transition is abrupt. A sloth. Uh, where did it go? What the... Uh... A sloth. Let's call him Michael. This is a depiction of a situation where Michael choked on a pine cone and fell from the pine on a child. A collection of gradients. But here you can see how transparent colors are used inside gradients to create triangles. A working X-ray machine. Let's call it Douglas. It, it used to be called Ray, now it's Douglas, an X-ray machine. Here we have two looping CSS animations that moves gradients and are synchronized to look like a one single animation. And by messing around with its parameters, we can quickly demonstrate what happens to Douglas when a child-sized liquid-like animal gets stuck in its gears. The sloth Michael once got stuck inside Douglas, the X-ray machine, making a cleaning lady abruptly shout Michael Douglas and selflessly dart into the scanner bay to the amusement of the unaware travelers. And there is even an entirely different website that features a whole cabinet of things that are done in CSS in the same way, just with gradients and one div. Impressive. But this is not what makes this portfolio amazing and the best site in the world. It's weird. Amazingly weird. It says right here. The web is better when it's weird, but what it should have said was better the web when weird it is. The web's true beauty shines through when it takes a walk on a wild and a bizarre side. Yo, the web, dope when like weird, Groot. And you can drag and drop a mushroom. This site also features a collection of airport codes, a dust removing experience, and dressing David Ropes, a character from the TV series called Shit's Creek, who was famous for wearing stylish outfits in every episode of the series. <coughs> Unlike some other people. <coughs> and one other cool thing that I liked about the site is fake Netflix. Uh, Netflix. A website that collects fake movies inside real movies. Here's the famous Angels with Filthy Souls from Home Alone or Scorcher 4 Global Meltdown. 
uh, pro Tropic Thunder. So, drawing the CSS is hugely impractical, but the site is very important because it's a collection of human creativity, as it shows us how creative humans can be when their resources are limited. And dressing David Rose lets you become a part of a weird experience that is a shit's creek. And Netflix opens the door to the alternative reality, which you only see fragments of otherwise. So, why is the web better when it's weird? Well, because it's okay. Maybe also because Aruta Baka, but mostly because it's okay. Actually, if you want more explanation, I believe that sites like this is the meaning of life, in the most practical sense of that expression. Here is the video where I talk exactly about this while looking at the works of a similar creator, where some of the works are just pure insanity. Thank you all very much for watching, liked if you liked it, this really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell if you haven't, this helps all the farmers who got eaten by their cows accidentally. Don't forget to look up and see you soon.